Hey guys, this picture was sent to me and I was asked for ideas on how to recreate the look. It is so pretty and I was super excited to try it out. This is also an end of year giveaway, so stick around to the end of the video for more information on how to participate. I'm starting out the project with 9 inches embroidery hoop and 12 inches embroidery hoop. I got these hoops from Michael's Craft Store and they sell them in Walmart but they sell smaller sizes so I just took off the outer hoops and then worked with the inner ones and I spray painted them silver. To keep both circles together I'll be using craft sticks and I spray painted the craft sticks silver. I cut the craft sticks to fit just right and then I turned the circles over. I'm going to be gluing on the craft sticks to hold both circles together and I'm going to be doing this at random with no pattern to it because the craft sticks are meant to just hold both circles together. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. This is what it looks like when I was done with this step. And so now I'm gonna go around with a strong adhesive and I'm using an E6000 glue. When I was done with that, I kept it aside and then I took a poster board and then drew out a very thin line and cut it out. And then I'm also going to be cutting this line into smaller pieces. I'll be using them to represent the time on the clock that I'm making. I want all of the hours to be indicated with normal lines and then for the 12 o'clock to be in Roman numeral. The next thing that I did after this was to take large gems that I got from Walmart and I'm going to be gluing them on top of both circles. As I was about to fill up the spaces, I decided the last minute to just change it and use smaller gems. So I took off all of the gems that I put and then replaced them with smaller gems. And I started doing this by gluing on the smaller gems on top of the circles first and then gluing the next set of gems on top of it. I did this in such a way that the gems are going to be glued somewhat overlapping on the first set of gems but then closer to the tips. And if you come across an open space that's too wide, you can just pick out one gem to cover it up. So now I'm putting the last set of gems on top and this is how it's glued. And I took one piece to cover up this hole here. And that's what I did all the way around until I filled the entire thing with gems. Now what I did to cover up the open spaces around here, I turned the whole thing back and then glue the gems upside down.
Now that it's been covered, I turn it again to the back so you guys can see what it looks like. And now I'm going to be trimming off this excess tips that's actually showing here. And after that, I'm going to be going around with a strong adhesive and I'm using a new 6000 glue on all of the gems that connects with each other. Now this was the only part that took a lot of time for me because I had to go around each and every one of the gems to make sure that they all have a strong adhesive just to make sure that it stays in place and lasts long. The next thing I did was to pick trays and I picked just one and then I'm going to be drawing a thin line on the tray and then cutting it out with a pair of scissors and cutting it into smaller sizes. I'll be using the size that I used for the clock as my guide to cut out smaller sizes from the tray. I'll be gluing on these pieces on top of the black ones. And I'm doing this because applying hot glue directly to the tray could melt it just a bit and it won't look pretty at all. So I decided to just put the hot glue on the black ones and then leave it for some time before putting on the cutout trays. I'll be using this 12 o'clock indication that I have here and at the back at this point is where I'm going to mount it on the wall. For the clock machine, I had wanted using this but then it's in gold so I picked out one that's black and it's much more bigger. So that's what I'm going to be using. I then took a tray and I'm going to be cutting out a circle from it. I opened up the hole just a bit but then it won't still take the clock machine. So I used a soldering iron and I just made the hole wider with it. And then the clock machine fits right inside and so I glued both of them together. The next thing I want to do is cover up the sides of the clock machine and so I took a poster board and then measured out a thin strip that I'm going to be needing and cut it out with a pair of scissors and spray painted it silver and glued it around the edges of the clock machine. This didn't come out the way I wanted it to. So then I just took a lid from a candle that I've had at home for a while and it has perfect reflection just like a mirror. I made a hole in the middle using my drill gun and a large drill bit that can be used for metal because the lid is metal. So after doing this, I made sure that the clock machine fits perfectly before I glued both of them together. And it is a perfect fit and it saves so much time. So now I'm going to be putting on the hour hand, the minute hand, and the second hand for the clock machine. I glued a hook here to make it easy to mount it on the wall. And this is how both of the pieces that I made for the clock look like together. I later decided that the 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and 6 o'clock should be turned into Roman numerals. And I am so happy that I used the lid of a candle for the clock machine because it kind of looks like a convex mirror. I put string lights inside the outer design of the clock and it looks so pretty. The main clock that I got this design from is much larger than this, so feel free to make it as large as you like. It is the end of the year and I'm super excited to start another year with you guys. I'll be giving away three gifts and these gifts are for subscribers who would like and share this video. They will be picked at random and the names of the winners will be in the description box for the next video coming up on Thursday by 12 noon. I love how the wall clock turned out and like I said earlier, you can make it as large as you like. 
I hope you enjoyed the video and happy new year to you all. Thank you so much for watching. I have all the videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.